fans. Orthodox Jewish rapper Nisim Baruch Black may only be in his early 30s, but he's already led a full life. Born to musician parents in 1986, Damien Jamal Black grew up in a tough neighborhood in Seattle. I was gone today. Tadikim. Mm. Yeah. In his youth, Nisim's parents were in jail for drug dealing. I was raised around a lot of violence. I was raised seeing a lot of, a lot of what was going on in the streets in, in my childhood. And things were not no, or normal, you know, as it pertains to, to Jewish lifestyle. I never sat at the table, I don't think, uh, with my family and ate a dinner together, you know. I have Shabbos, not only throughout the week, but I have Shabbos now with my children. So it's a, it's a big difference. Yeah. Uh -huh. you ain't ready for this. In his late teens and early 20s, he went by the stage name D-Black. As a gangster rapper, his career was taken off. Often sharing the stage was his friend Macklemore, who became a world-famous artist. I don't think it's important to forget something like that, because it was, uh, it's sort of what defines who I am even now. Raised a Muslim by his Sunni grandfather, Nisim eventually became a Christian. But a close death experience with a rival gang member pushed him to do some soul searching. He discovered Judaism, studied day and night before converting with his wife, sister, and brother in law in 2013. When I got to, to Jerusalem, everything changed. Everything changed. It was, you know, the air is different here. It's not the same air, you know? Um, I think, you know, just, just being here and having a change of surrounding gave me, opened me up. It, it expanded my consciousness of, of, of how to create and, and what to create. To get a closer impression of what a day in the life of Nisim Black looks like, we followed him around for a day in Jerusalem where the rapper spends his time recording and producing with his brother-in-law Joseph and producer Israel Laub in a studio in the ultra-Orthodox neighborhood of Mea Sha'arim. He hears beats in a certain way that most people don't, don't hear them. Yeah, Nisim's just the genius when it comes to kicks, just a different world. The rapper is also a dedicated husband and responsible father, while also dedicating time to constant prayers throughout the day. We also followed him to a study session with his rabbi, Natan Maimon. We also paid a visit to the tomb of famous Iraqi-born rabbi, Obadiah Yosef. The rapper considers the Sanhedria Cemetery as a spiritual place for prayer. The holy city of Jerusalem is shared by the three main monotheistic faiths, which Nisim himself has experienced and practiced. I can relate to a lot of people, you understand what I'm saying? A person doesn't actually know unless you've been one of them, you understand? So, you know, sometimes I get into a cab and it's, it's a Muslim guy, I can have a conversation with him that nobody else can have. It's a Christian guy, also to it. Nisim recently released his first record since moving to Israel. It is his second album since converting to Judaism. The album's title in Hebrew is Lemala, meaning above. It includes hit singles such as Fly Away and A Million Years, featuring Israel Laub, co-producer of the album. They both hope the album will also reach non-religious audiences.